back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Priya and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this stunning halo eyeshadow look with three easy steps. I know for me especially, I've been trying my best to keep everything neutral these days. I've not been wearing bright, bright lipsticks or anything like that. I'm trying to keep it neutral. However, today I'm going to go all out. This is basically my go-to. So if, if I'm going anywhere and I don't want to overdo on my eyeshadow or my makeup, I just make sure that the rest of my face looks flawless and natural. And then I put on this halo brown and gold combination eyeshadow and I'm ready to go. So if you want to see how I created this stunning look, make sure you like, share, subscribe and watch till the end. We're going to do skin prep first and I'm going to apply the Olay Moisturizer with SPF 15 on my face to ensure that I have a flawless hydrated base and then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. hydrating primer and apply it all over my face. Notice that I'm using only one pump. One pump is enough for my full face so what I'm going to do, I'm going to gently massage it all over my face so what it does is that this hydrating primer moisturizes the skin and ensures that the foundation or the powder application right after this has a flawless finish so i'm going to use this maybelline brow gel use an angle brush to apply the product on and then i'm going to gently shape my eyebrows and fill it in It's really important to use a really nice eyeshadow primer or a really nice concealer before applying any kind of eyeshadow on. So today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and I'm going to gently dab it all over my eyelids. Then using one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, Sultry by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to be using a lighter shade of brown and apply it in the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to blend it towards the inner corner of my eyes. Then I'm going to take a darker shade of dark brown and go over the outer corner of my eyes and then use the same shade and gently apply it in the inner corner of my eyes. So there's three simple steps. Dark shade, the shimmer shade, and then dark shade again. So what I'm doing over here, I'm applying the darker shade in the outer corner, blending it towards the inner corner, and I'm packing that dark brown shade in the inner corner as well. So this gives a halo eye effect, and this is the three easy steps, guys. Dark, light, and dark again blend 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 and you're done an eye look is never complete without a black bold eyeliner and lashes so i'm going to be using the uh, high precision um, black eyeliner from sephora and i'm going to gently apply it creating a wing Since the main part of the video is done, I'm going to go in with the NYX Can Stop Won't Stop foundation in the shade Neutral Tan and I'm going to gently apply it all over my face. Can you see how flawless my foundation application looks guys? It is all because of the e.l.f. primer. So if you're looking for a great, affordable, really really high quality um, face primer, go ahead and give this one a shot. It's called the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer.
to sculpt my face today i'm going to be using the foundation stick in the shade dark brown from juvia's place i'm going to highlight my the higher points of my face using the elf hydrating primer and i'm going to try this tiktok trick or pack where people are using lipsticks to create this blush effect so in those videos they're using a lipstick to create the blush effects before they apply foundation but since i already applied foundation i'm just going to try to apply the lipstick right on top and blend it and see how it turns out I'm going to use a brush to blend out all the product on my face since I used just a little bit of red lipstick to create the blush effects it actually looked pretty nice To get flawless makeup, I feel like it's really, really important to learn the blending technique. For foundation application, I feel like a damp beauty blender is the perfect tool to apply foundation. However, if you're using cream blush or cream contour, a brush, a blending brush would be ideal. The amazing part about this lipstick trick is that if you feel like it's too much you could always go over with your beauty blender with the foundation on and apply it right over or you could go in with the setting powder in this case i'm using the huda beauty setting powder and i'm gently applying it to the places where i have applied the concealer on and if i feel like my blush was too much i could have just gone in with the um, setting powder or even my beauty blender with foundation on and covered it up so i'm just gonna gently set my face with the setting powder so my makeup is intact and doesn't move next i'm going to go in with the morphe highlight and I'm going to gently use a brush and apply this highlight on the high points of my face. else loves highlighting the inner corners of the eyes it just gives an amazing look to the whole makeup so i'm going to apply one of the silver eyeshadow shades from the sultry palette and the difference it makes is just amazing The lipstick I'm using today is from Maybelline. It's the Matte Super Stay Lipstick and I am loving this line so far. So I'm going to gently apply it and I'm going to go over it with the Juvia's Place Lip Liner. Give my lips an ombre effect. I'm going to go in with the Morphe setting spray to finish the look. So guys, if you love the content I create, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you for watching.